When it comes to a kids movie, how can you resist one that's been described like this? They're just like real spies, only furrier. When the first Cats and Dogs movie came out, it was dead set so exciting to see the common household pet not only talking, but in a battle to take over the world. Now the sequel, coming to cinemas, sees a shaky alliance between mortal enemies, cats and dogs, as they go up against a renegade kitty who's gone completely nuts. There's a big star voice cast on board, James Marsden, Nick Nolte, Bette Midler, Christina Applegate, Neil Patrick Harris, Sean Hayes, and even little Kian and Shipka from movie extras hit show, Mad Men. Out of all this lot, let's find out who Sal Morgan got to hang out with. Greetings, my future feline followers. My name is Kitty Galore. Ugh, is that even a cat? In two days, I will unleash a sound only those drool-bag dogs can hear. A sound so devastating, so terrifying, it will drive all dogs completely insane. Humans will be forced to get rid of him. And without their protection, I will enslave all mankind! <laughs> Nothing and no one will stop me from ruling the world. Kitty Galore, out! Now tell me, why did you sign up? I signed up because they asked me. <laughs> I love doing movies like this and like Alvin that we've met on before, but that films that my godchild and my my friend's kids can actually see and my you know future children someday can actually see something that I'm in because um, up to this point, most of the things have been more adult content. That didn't sound right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm awesome. Is it fun? Is it lonely going into this studio? And It's it fun, but you do, at some point, during the process, I lost all perspective of what the performance is, yeah. what's going on in the movie. You're, you're an instrument when you go in there and the director sort of plays you and say this line, say it this way, say it this way, say it 10 different ways. And you just sort of cross your fingers and hope you know, that it works. Sometimes just what working vocally is hard because you don't know, you're, all you're doing is listening. You can't attach it to, a, to the way your face looks. It's not your face, it's somebody else's face. So you have to work within that, those parameters. And uh, it's, it's an, it, the, the word I would use to describe it is intense. You'll never get away with this, Kitty. Oh, I was hoping someone would say I'll never get away with this. It'll make it so much more satisfying when I do. Hi, Sal. Hi. How's Australia? Uh, it's fantastic. We'd oh. love to see you there. Oh, my gosh. I'd love to go. There is one way to defeat Kitty Galore. Step one, release me immediately. What? Forget it. Step two, I'm going to need a space shuttle. No. No. Oh, all right. You guys are no fun. What do you have to say to people who don't believe that dogs and cats can talk and that they do live this secret life? Humans are, uh, they're only here to serve us, and, uh, you know, I, I do appreciate all the service, but, um, cats and dogs have been more intelligent for many years, and, uh, it's sort of a secret, but I guess the movie has, uh, well, <laughs> popped that bubble. <laughs> do I think they go down shoots and have, carry spy messages? I don't think that, but I do think there are, there are so, there's so much about the animal world that we have no absolutely no comprehension of, and never will. But then I talk to the rocks, too. Oh, right, the dropping floor thing. I've seen one of those. Uh, uh, some help here? Yeah.